I don't know if Don Quixote was the first to use the idiom, don't put all of your eggs into one basket, but he appears to be the first to have put it into writing. It is the part of a wise man to keep himself today for tomorrow and not venture all of his eggs in one basket. The words are as old as the 1600s. The idea is at least as old as this week's Torah portion. When Jacob learned that his brother Esau was coming to greet him with a whole host of men, Jacob, well, panicked. The messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We came to your brother Esau. He is coming to meet you, and his retinue number is 400. Jacob was frightened. In his anxiety, he divided the people with him and the flocks and the herds and the camels into two camps, thinking, if Esau comes to the one camp and attacks it, the other camp may yet escape. All your eggs, all your wives and children and possessions, by dividing them into two groups, Jacob felt more confident that no matter what happened, at least one group would survive the encounter. In his commentary on this week's Torah portion, Nachmanides recognizes in Jacob's actions a good model for the Jewish community. The descendants of Esau will not decree to completely erase our name, but persecute us in a few countries. One king will rob us of our money or expel us, and another will show us mercy and save the refugees in his country. If Esau comes to the one camp and smites it, these are our brothers in the south, then the camp which is left shall escape. These are our brothers in the diaspora. Behold, Nachmanides says, this parasha is a sign for the future. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket or all of your Jews in one place. A dark but prescient teaching from this week's Torah portion.